to this, you just have to ensure that you pull on the braid tight enough so that it pulls in all the hairs and it's very neat. Once you're done with that first plait, you're gonna go ahead and grab the second bunch of hair and mix in that first plait. So you're just gonna braid that in. Now that we have these two rows, once we're going to braid them back, we're going to crisscross it. Just so that we have a closure right there. So to ensure that you can get a straight part, nose, and go straight back. Okay guys, so I'm all done with the front. I have 10 braids in front and right now I've done the parting for the back. Okay guys, so I have some afro hair here that I'm gonna use to help braid my hair because it's so short.
Okay guys, so I'm all done. Um, this wasn't too bad. Um, I just feel like right now I'm a forehead that shine. Jimmy comes to say forehead for forehead. But yeah, like it's really just. <laughs> but yeah, other than that, it was good. Um, the hair is heavier than the last time that I did this style. The last time I used the 1B27 and it wasn't this heavy. But this one, like, I had to kind of space them out just so my head, you know, like I don't have neck problems with this hair. But other than that, it's all good. Um, oh, another thing, the ends, like I had to trim up the ends a bit. Even though I still think that some of them are still, you know, fuzzy. So remember to subscribe and give the video a thumbs up if you like this content. See you next time.